Hi everyone, it's Nicole and I have another layout and it's using the Neverland Studio Calico Kit plus I had the Tink add-on. I'm showing you some of the products that I want to use and a couple of templates from the Crafters Workshop and some stuff from my digital kit. And those two papers, one is from Echo Park All About a Boy and the other one was Pebbles and they both came in the kit. So I know I want to use one of the orange papers as my background but one picture is landscape so it's all together it's more than 12 inches so I want to cut it down so that I can fit it in that allotted amount of space and I want sort of a border all around the three photos so I'm going to cut it down to fit I think the middle photo is probably about three, three and a half. And I use my Creative Memories cutter to cut it. And I put the one that was um, the smallest, I guess, in the middle. And then I'm going to put the back side of that orange polka dot is actually a journaling paper or a line paper. And I'm going to flip it over and I'm going to use that as my journaling strip. And then I'm going to use the polka dots, the orange side, to go at the top and the bottom of the layout, or I guess above the photo and below the photo. So I don't plan on, on having a big title on this. And this is sort of like the second layout that I want to leave for each of my kids. So this one is for my son. And again, where it's going to be sort of a, you know, a personal thing that I want to leave for him it's going to be tucked in behind the photo so they'll have to go kind of dig in for it in order to find it but it's not hidden 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 you know you, you still kind of see the journaling popping up at the top and I'm going to use my notebook edge and that's from EK success and I'm going to punch out the two strips that I have for the top and the bottom and it just gives it a little bit of definition without having to do too, too much. And that one there and the scallop, the double dotted scallops, I think it's called, dotted embossed scallop, are two of my favorite uh, punches. And now I'm going to use some twine, some orange twine, and put on my tag. Just because for me, a tag should have some kind of cording or so that's what I'm going to use and then this template is from the crafters workshop and it looks like um, I don't know like a screen maybe and uh, I'm just going to take some orange ink and it's orange soda from Hero Arts and I'm going to put it in three different spots the bottom right corner the top left corner but not right to the side sort of in a little bit just above the photos and then I'm just gonna have it so it's peeking to the right just so, sort of like it's coming in just a little bit I'm just gonna do the corner of the template and then I find like it's still missing something so I want to bring in some blue I don't want it to be a monochromatic page I want it I want to bring in some teal not blue but teal so what I'm going to do is I'm going to change out that orange twine. I'm going to put blue twine and that's where I decide to bring in some teal. I'm going to get the Tide Pool Hero Arts ink and then I'm going to use a stamp and it just looks like a little grid. And I use um, a lot of this for mixed media and that's basically what I wanted to start adding to my pages. It, it's more of a mixed media feeling. So the last few pages, um, I've brought in templates and then I kind of stamp around it and it's it's sort of to kind of mimic the mixed ear, mixed media um, side of it. I would love someday to do a totally, like use a canvas because they sell the 12 by 12 canvas sheet and I'd love to do a mixed media background so now I'm just looking for other stuff that I could add to that page. 
and I'm looking through my digital prints and someone was asking if this was digital that I had printed on my Cameo and cut it out or if I had gotten them printed somewhere and I do have a Cameo and I've had it now for three months and it's still sitting in the box. I don't really have room for it in this room. I'm hoping to be able to kind of clear out some stuff and uh, set it up so I do get my digital stuff printed at Staples and it's Staples online and uh, they're really fast and efficient and you can get it on glossy paper and it only costs like 50 cents per sheet so it's really economical too. So now I'm going to work on my title and this title is going to be he's eating an ice cream and my daughter was climbing a rock and that's where I or coming down from a rock and I kind of came up with the title life's obstacles and then I'm just going to give her you know some words of advice or wisdom or just you know some stuff that I want to leave to her and here my husband my husband yeah my son is eating an ice cream and it was so hot I'm sure it was like a hundred degrees out and he just basically opened you know the ice cream and it was just he couldn't afford eating like it was melting faster than he could eat it <laughs> and he was getting all stressed out because it was running down his arm and so this is where the title came from it's life's meltdowns and so I'm just gonna you know talk to to him about different things about life and I just thought it was kind of a cute title because you know he was eating an ice cream and it was kind of melting faster than he could eat it so what I did was I wanted that tag to fit in behind there so that it could fit I kind of placed the tag where I wanted it to be and took my ATG tape and kind of went around and then I'm going to start gluing the strips at the top and the bottom and I'm going to add a little bit of wet glue to make sure that every everything sticks down I'm going to add the tag and then I'm going to start adding my die cuts Now I'm working on the bottom right and I'm going to, I put at each place that I want an embellishment, I put a little blue tag that I got from the digital print and that washi tape that we got, I believe it came with the Project Life project and not the scrapbook kit, but I absolutely love it. I love the color of it and it just basically says, you know, remember this today together. So I thought it was perfect for this page. And I used one of the buttons from the kit that we got this month and it was a teal button and now I'm just looking at other stuff that I could put on this page and I decide to use a little potty boy and this is page 37 of 50 from my Facebook challenge and it took me 51 minutes to complete and it's layout 11 of that I got completed with my March kit and another, another thing that I did on my YouTube channel is every time I add a video, I have playlist. And so I did a playlist for my scrapbook process video. So they're all in there. So there's, this is the 56th one. So they're all in there. But then I did other playlists. And what I'm doing is if you're looking for a specific kit, I did one that's all front row, pro, you know, pages that I got done. And now I'm doing one that's all Neverland. So every month I'll make sure to have a playlist that's pertaining to that month's kit. So it's going to be easier to find as I get more and more videos up there. So the letters that I use for my title was letters that we got in the kit last month. So there was the orange letters that were from Simple Stories and the little blue letters that were from Basic Gray. And now I'm going to add, I did add some little wood veneer birds, the tweets they're called. And now I'm going to add some blue twine. Another thing is I post all my layouts. I don't have a website yet. And it's it looks like it's going to be a while before I can find the time to, to put one together. So what I decided to do was start posting my layouts on the Studio Calico and 2P's site in the gallery. And both of them 
my username is Nicole Jones 911 so it should be easy to find so if you want to see a still pictures they're all posted there and of course I'm also part of that Facebook challenge and there is um, a group that I belong to and we post all our layouts there so they are there also so now I'm going through my flare buttons or flare badges and I'm gonna find three that are orange and one's a star and the other one's gonna say our story and the other one says for the record so I still have to come up with something to store those I'm finding it a, you know a big pain to go through and I know Mercy has hers like on um, I think it's a spellbinders magnet but I don't want to have to buy that just to, to do that I thought maybe of doing it on a chipboard but then it's a 12 by 12 flat thing that I have to store so I'm just gonna leave them in that jar for now and hopefully something will come to me and and I'll find a, a different way to store those so I used my big giant uh, foam foam tape and it's from 3m from scotch and I got it at custom crops and now I'm going to cover my photos and then I'm going to splatter some glimmer glaze and I splattered it with two different colors a teal and an orange and I think after that I realized that I hadn't put any enamel dots or anything so I'm going to take out my enamel dots and what I started doing was after, you know, I'm done, I kind of leave the page there and kind of put my stuff away just so that you have a few, few seconds to see the page done. Cause I know the still, I do put still pictures at the end, but it's still kind of quick. So just kind of leave the page there and then you can have a better look. And that's how I noticed that I hadn't put enamel dots is as I was putting stuff away, I came across the enamel dots and then I decide to, to add them to the page. So these enamel dots are from, I believe it's My Mind's Eye, or is it Echo Park? It's all about a boy. I think it's My Mind's Eye. I'm trying to find them quickly. Yep, my mind's eye and it is called actually it's called my girl and it had some really nice orange enamel dots that matched or uh, coordinated with the colors of my page so that's it the page is done so thanks for watching bye